Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.9 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine V0 for each of the op M circuit in figure 5.48. There are two circuit here and let's start with the first circuit here. Okay, let's see what we get from here. Okay, we have an op M there. Okay, remember that within an op M, op M, the voltage between two terminals is the same. So, if we have this op M here, we will have VA and VB will be the same. So, if this is VA and this is VB, there will be VA is equal. And the current that goes into the OM will be equal to zero. So if this is IA, IA will equal to zero. And here is the same, IB is also zero. So IB is also zero. So IA is equal to IB and both equal to zero. Okay, let's see the first circuit here. We have four volt from the ground so the ground is here so the voltage here will be zero so we will have this four volt from the ground the voltage here is equal to four volt right and then if we name this node here as node a okay and we can draw the circuit if this goes there and this goes there and this goes into the OM we can do KCL at node A so let's do exactly that KCL at node A KCL said that the sum of the voltage the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes Okay, the only current that goes in into not A is this one milliampere current. So we will have one here, and that will equal to this current here is that goes into the op amp that will be zero, and then we will have V A here. So I will have V A minus this is the output, so V zero divided by the resistance between them which is 2 kilo okay now let's solve this because we know VA VA is the same as this voltage here because the property of op M here so we know that VA is equal to 4 volt okay so let's plug that in so I will have 1 is equal to 4 minus V0 divided by 2 Okay, let's multiply both sides by 2, so we will have 2 is equal to 4 minus V0, or V0 is equal to 4 minus 2, therefore V0 is equal to 2 volt. This is for the first circuit, okay. And I think we are done for the first circuit, and now let's move on to the second circuit. Let's clear up the board. Okay, now let's play the same game into the second circuit here. Okay, let's see the circuit here. This is the ground, so the voltage here will be 0 volt, right? And then this is a voltage source. That means that this positive terminal will be 3 volt from the ground. So we will have the voltage here as 3 volt. And that has a uh, consequences because the voltage into the op amp terminal is always the same so we will have the voltage here will be 3 volt okay and then what can we do from there we know that this is 1 volt okay maybe let's name this not here or oh, that is also connected to v0 so we will have v0 here okay 
that means that we will have the difference between this node and this node is equal to one volt so we can write it as three minus v0 is equal to one volt okay and we can rewrite this as v0 is equal to three minus one therefore we will have v0 is equal to and that is the answer for the second circuit so the conclusion is the first circuit we will have v0 is equal to 2 volt here and for the second circuit it's also 2 volt okay and i think that's all for this problem thank you for watching and i will wait until minutes eight okay see you in the next video bye bye